Our topic today is help from the unseen realms. Help from the unseen realms. Today we're going to be calling on our supporters. We're going to be directing our focus and attention directly to the angels, the guides, the healers, the helpers, all who are here to guide, protect, direct, uh, help us to receive guidance and healing and help us to, to walk this path that are here to support our journey of separation and return of healing and wholeness and wellness and becoming one with our source the source that is the breath of existence that breathes us that gives consciousness to our physical forms that is evident and manifesting through our beings through our existence and through our actions to be seen and known and heard and experienced in this 3D material realm on planet Earth. So we're going to be calling on our healers and helpers and guides. We're going to be calling on our sources. We always do. And we're going to ask directly for what is in our hearts that we need. For whether that be for yourself, for your family, for a loved one, for the community, for all of humanity, for the animals, for the planet, for the air, for the water, for the environment, the climate, whatever that may be, for the earth herself. And I focus a lot on asking for help and healing for humanity because the human beings are the ones who are given free will. And with our free will, that allows us to stray from the natural order of things, from the natural rhythms, from the divine nature and the consciousness, the living consciousness that flows through all. It's a part of us too. And we have that free will that allows us to go off course and live out of the harmony with nature. So we're the ones that need the prayers so that we can return and redirect our actions to be in alignment and in harmony with nature so that the planet and the animals and the water and the air and all of nature can heal. We, When we redirect our actions, we create the environment that allows the natural, uh, the nature to come back into rhythm and harmony with itself. But we're the disruptors, so we need the prayers. And yes, pray for it all, wherever your heart is guided. Okay, so we're going to do that in the first part, and we are going to do in the second part, calling on some of the divine names and sacred sound codes to help us to open our extrasensory perception, to tune into that which is evident, which is perceived through our physical senses of our eyes and ears and and our uh, feel and touch and taste and smell. So tuning into that which is evident and also opening our perception to that which is beyond the evident, beyond the seen, to the unseen realms, and then bringing that into an integration through the divine name of the all-existing. So the evident, the manifest, the, the visible is Zahir, Zahir. The hidden is Al-Batin, al And the all-existing is Al-Wajid, Al-Wajid. And I'll say that more when we get to them. But for those of you who know, just letting you know where we're going. Okay, so let's come into our circle, into our meditation and healing circle. Let's come together as one, sitting in a circle, side by side, shoulder. 